Hey, it's Brian Mod. This is my cheat sheet for Friday, August 31st. Gosh, tomorrow's September. Craziness, right? All right. Um, Walmart got something going on to save you money at the gas pump starting today. This is pretty cool. Uh, they did a modified version of this last year. It went so well, they're expanding it this year. Walmart at its Murphy USA uh, gas stations, which they keep, you know, right there near the Walmart locations, and there are some of those in our area. Well, in 20 states, and bonus, we are one of them, uh, Walmart, today through December 24th, will allow you to save between 10 to 15 cents per gallon on gas. Here's the way it works. You can save 10 cents per gallon if you use a Walmart gift card to pay for your gas. So all you need to do is have a Walmart gift card, pay for gas, 10 cents per gallon, right? All right, and here's the next thing. If you want to save up to 15 cents a gallon, if you have a Walmart cred credit card or what they call a Walmart money card, that will save you. 15 cents per gallon. There are really no strings attached here. I mean, at a minimum, if you already, as a matter of convenience, or, you know, it's a, just the best price in your area, go to a Murphy USA on the Walmart pre premises, buy gift cards, by God, and just use those things for gas through Christmas Day. It's going to save you some money along the way. So that's pretty cool. Um, all right, just how close is this race shaping up to be between President Obama and Mitt Romney? Really, really close. Uh, the president's re-election odds, based upon his approval rating, his pr approval rating is just under 48, rounding up 48% at this stage, gives him uh, about a 62% chance of winning re-election. Now, here's where it gets more interesting, the head-to-head -head matchup with Mitt Romney. Now, all I can do with this is project popular vote, not electoral counts, but I will tell you that I am right now, using the data we've got, projecting Mitt Romney to win the popular vote, and if an election were held today, let me explain. We take a look at the aggregate uh, um, of the polling data, all the major polling firms, Romney versus Obama. Right now, it's Obama 47, Romney 45. Here what's interesting. Just last week, we had 9% that were undecided. This week, 7% undecided. So every one of those percentage points at this point can make a huge difference as that number comes down and people become decided because... I got about a one-point difference right now in a national head-to-head -head election between these two. Here's how this works. Typically, in, a, uh, in an election setting, it's not typically, it's the average historically, the challenger wins 75% of undecided voters on election day. So if we take Obama at 47, Romney at 46, we take 75% of that, give that to Romney, he's now just under 51%. And President Obama just over 49 percent so we're looking at one percentage point of undecided voters swinging one way or the other at this point potentially making the difference in the outcome of the election uh, so we are looking at a super 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 close race right now now it's i could project some of that into the states themselves but i don't have historical data for example i can't tell you uh, if historically 75 percent of florida's undecided voters on election day go for the incumbent. We don't have enough data to be able to back that up. We only do on the national level. So for that reason, we can't project undecided voters in any swing states at this point. And that means that when I do take a look, just based upon the polling data at the Electoral College, President Obama is still showing 303 electoral votes, easily more than 270 you need to win. The two big states he's hanging on to, that Mitt Romney in the polling data has not been able to, uh, to get back to the GOP side, are Ohio and Virginia. Florida is with Romney right now, but but uh, Virginia and Ohio are still polling slightly in President Obama's favor. Those two, it looks like, could end up being the uh, the difference come election day. Uh, a couple things real quick. Facebook. Um, I would just say that I wouldn't put any additional information in Facebook than you have to. I mean, put the bare minimum to keep an account there. At least, uh, unless you don't want Facebook sharing it with other people. Facebook uh, is going to, starting today, Share your personal information you keep on file with advertisers for targeted marketing. That means your phone number and your email address in particular. What they'll do is use the area code in your phone number to have aver give it to advertisers, sell it to their advertisers, so they can send targeted marketing to you here. Now, here's the thing. Not everybody hates targeted marketing. And if you're okay with that, then by all means, put all the information in there. Uh, but what's clear is that as Facebook is reaching for many different ways to try to make more money, they're going to use everything they possibly can to do so, including your personal information. 
plenty more on the physical cheat sheet today. I invite you to check it out. Enjoy yours, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend.